This video will be about exercise tempo and also breathing during resistance training. So the general rule we want to follow for the exercise tempo is during the lowering phase, the stretching phase of the rep, we want to be super controlled. And during the lifting phase of the repetition, we want to be powerful. So we want to be always in control of the weight throughout the entire set. In your workout, next to some of the exercises, you might see paused or paused reps. What this basically means is that we will be adding a pause of three to five seconds generally to the contraction or the stretching part of the rep. The idea behind this is to progress the exercise to make it a little bit more difficult by increasing the time under tension. Breathing, so breathing during resistance training. The general rule is that we inhale before the set, then we exhale during the concentric, so during the lifting part of the rep, we breathe out, and also during the lowering phase, the stretching part of the rep, we inhale as well. Of course, the breathing will also depend on the type of exercise we're doing. So for example, if we are performing a static or isometric exercise like planks, you will just carry on your normal breathing pattern. Also, if we're lifting heavy during, let's say, squats, deadlifts, bench press, the way we will breathe will be a little bit different. For example, if we're lifting heavy on squats, we wouldn't want to inhale as we're going down because that's still a difficult part of the rep. Instead, when we're lifting heavy on squats, we want to inhale before we start the moving down phase. So we'll, we'll breathe in, then we'll start moving down, bracing the abs, and then once we're on the way up, we'll start breathing out. So we wouldn't breathe out while we're at the bottom. To demonstrate what the tempo and also the breathing should look like, I'll perform a few exercises now. Okay, so to demonstrate the breathing during a pushing exercise, I'll go through a variation of the shoulder press exercise. So I'll just get into my position and then it should look like this. Okay, so to demonstrate the breathing during a pulling exercise, I'll go through a variation of a rowing exercise. So I'm inhaling before I begin. We want to inhale before we begin our set. Then as we lift the weight, so during the hard part of the rep, we want to exhale, so breathe out. During the lowering phase or the stretching part of the rep, we want to inhale again. So when it comes to exercises like squats and deadlifts, especially if we are pushing ourselves and lifting a good amount of weight, the breathing starts to change a little bit. So I'll demonstrate what I mean. So I'm just going to demonstrate a variation of a squat exercise. We have the goblet squat. So once I'm in my position and ready to squat, I'm going to breathe in. So as you just saw, what I did was inhale before I squat down and then I held on to the breath while I was in the bottom position and only as I was on the way up just about to finish the rep that's when I started breathing out. So the same thing would happen with the deadlift. I would breathe in as I'm about to lift so I hold my breath and only at the top I would breathe out. On the way back down, I breathe in. Breathe out at the top. 
So the main difference when it comes to the breathing during lifting heavier in, on exercises like squats and deadlifts and compared to the other exercises is that I would inhale not when lowering but before the rep and I'll hold my breath to keep it tight and I'll only breathe out at the top.